hear the story? Did you ever hear the yarn? About what? About gasoline, cause he saved up a dollar, then he bought And he said he got it just for 1200 bucks. 1200 bucks. And uh, again, drove it in yesterday. Um, didn't let the welders in, because that, that was the plan. So uh, on Friday, he ended up cutting the trunk out so that you could put a battery tray in, get a little, little space there, um, keep the weight low between wheels. And then the fire marshal kicked him out when, uh, when we drove in yesterday, uh, uh, just because all the fluids, it, it's, it's total garbage. So ripped the motor yesterday, and we pushed it in about, I don't know, 1.30. And so it set him back a little bit, but uh, I don't know. So, uh, you know. It's, it's, it's just cool, because again, I, I mean, I'm not like a huge car guy, but I like the idea of taking something that has a lot of style and, uh, um, and attractiveness in this, in this day where everything's just mass produced and just kind of, and yet the motors on these things, the mechanicals, I mean, everyone like has fond stories of, oh yeah, I, I, when I was a kid I used to have six of them and none of them worked at any given time, you know. But with this, you've got a system that's, that's better sort of than the original, and yet you still get the style and have something fun to drive around. I, yeah. I mean, just on a personal level. And his goal was to show that it could be done in a weekend. You know, yeah. Lots of people have obviously been stopping by to see it. What do you think the, re the you know, response has been from people checking it out? I, well, I think they're blown away because, uh, again, it's not something that... It just seems so sort of untouchable. I think it's just like, oh, it's technology, it's, it's electrics, it's motors. I mean, unless you're, unless you're a do-it-yourself guy, but even if you're a do-it-yourself guy, in that case, you're probably doubly scared because you know what kind of work goes into this sort of project. You see it in the blogs, and it's like, you know, I was on one the other day, and, like, this guy, again, it was like three years of working on this stuff. Or the guy from Maine who built that little uh, that little car over there with the, the little cage and everything. Um, the amount of welding and having to jimmy rig, jerry rig everything and the two motors. Whereas this, he's just kind of demonstrating that... If you know what's going on, you have a kit, it can be done. And uh, uh, if you have a discrete amount of time to do something, you can put a price on that. You can license the kit. Uh, it just, again, I, I think the whole show is about sort of making making the idea of, of alternative fuels a reality. And, and this is a great demonstration. Of that. Yeah, so. Gasoline guns, gasoline guns, and his nipply buzz.